All right, guys. Today it's story time again. So I did a video on I did a video last week or something on how to treat other drivers over the road. I can't exactly remember what I called it, but something to that effect. So we're going to talk about today how I got into truck driving, how I got my CDL. So we'll see how long this takes. It might be a two-parter, maybe a one-parter. We'll go from there. But anyways, how I got started in truck driving. goes. We got to go back to 2007. I'm working a factory job building travel trailers for a company called Fleetwood, Fleetwood Travel Trailers. I worked out of Williamsport, Maryland. Uh, I started the, I think I started there in 03, June of 03. Um, worked there for like four or five years, something like that. It was March of 07. So, you know, something like that, four or five years. March of 07, showed up to work on a, was that Tuesday morning or something like that? I think, might have been, it wasn't a Monday. I don't know. Anyways, showed up for work on, we'll just call it a Tuesday morning, March of 2007. And the week before, I had, uh, I was working back in a section called lamination, and we was running a router, and I had actually cut the tip of my finger, it was on a Thursday or Friday, with a router bit. I had laid, I would ran the router, and I would set the router on the table, and it goes to fall off, and me, seeing it fall, reached out to grab it, and grabbed the bit, and it just nipped the tip of my finger, cut it, started bleeding. No big deal. I went down to the tool crib, whatever. They put a Band-Aid on it, whatever. Um, and they were talking about sending me to do a drug test because I got hurt on the job. They decided not to send me to do a drug test on Friday. I don't know why. But they didn't. Came back to work Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. And at about 10 o'clock in the morning, 9.30, 10, they came around and said that they wanted to send me for a drug test for the accident. I was like, that was like three days ago. That was like Thursday. I was like, whatever. So they sent me over to do a drug test for an accident where I cut my finger. No biggie, whatever. I go over to do the drug test. While I'm doing the drug test, the corporate people at Fleetwood, not at the Williamsport, but the corporate, wherever corporate offer was, I don't know where the corporate office was, out in California maybe, they had sent some people in and actually shut the plant down while I was doing a drug test. So I got down to my drug test, I got picked back up and brought back to the plant and everybody was gone. Nobody was there on the way back, the guy picking me up told me that they had shut the plant down. I was like, oh really? He's like, yeah. He's like, when you get back to the thing, you need to get all your tools, bring them to the tool crib, turn them in and go home. You don't have a job. And that's how quick it happened. I went to work. At, and at 10 o'clock in the morning, I didn't have a job. Came, I got back to the from the drug test about 10:45. There was nobody there. I walked into the plant, and the only people was there was the the leads, the foremans, stuff like that. But nobody else was there. And uh, went and got my tools, handed them in, walked out the door, got my car, and went home. And that was pretty much it. So the reason they shut it down was. Uh, uh, making dumb business decisions is what it was but a lot of it had to do with they the government had passed some kind of bill or something that set a bunch of jobs in mexico or something like that our plant ended up shutting down and shipping all the jobs to mexico because they shipped all the jobs to mexico somehow or another the government decided that we needed or they needed to pay for people to get re-educated into a different field so i went back a couple weeks later had a meeting at at the plant where they shut it down, they, they brought in a people that was going to do the, do the, uh, their re-education stuff or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the proper name of it was, but anyways, they offered a bunch of different, not a bunch, they offered some different stuff and they were going to pay for you to go back to school in theory. Uh, they was offering like auto mechanics, they offered CDL truck driving, air conditioning, HVAC, air conditioning, heating, ventilation, um, I think they had offered taxidermy. Uh, you know, they weren't offering for you to go become a doctor, a lawyer, stuff like that. It was just small stuff like that. So I looked at the list. It wasn't a very big list. I looked across the list. And uh, the only thing that even looked a little bit appealing was getting my CDLs. So in October of 2007, I got my CDLs and the government paid for it. I don't know. Uh, it is what it is, man. I lost my job. They sent my job to Mexico, and the government paid for me to get a CDL. October, 
I think I started the CDL class in July. So if my 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 plant was shut down in March, April, May, June, what four months later, I was at school for CDL. I went to a, a school that offered a 12-week CDL driving course. We spent six six weeks. I'm gonna say six months. Yeah, six weeks in the classroom learning classroom stuff. Um, learning the pre-trip inspection was the biggest thing, and then just basically um, getting your permit. The study and the testing in your permit basically i think the second or third week i went and took the written test and passed it to get my permit then the rest the last three weeks of the classroom i just studied the pre-trip i would spend like an hour going through the book and then i would go out to the truck he had a truck sitting on the uh, yard and i'd go out there and spend like the rest like after lunch i'd just do the pre-trip every day like three four times a day for like three weeks then after the six weeks was up we started driving so then we was in the truck we all had our permits at that point you had six weeks to get your permits. I had, like I said, had mine in three weeks. So we were driving trucks around the yard. They have like a little course there. We would drive around the course and get used to driving the trucks. And then after six weeks on the road, we spent six weeks on the road. Not really on the road, but like driving on the road, practicing and stuff like that. Just driving, get up, get up to class at eight, start driving, drive to like three or so in the afternoon and then head back to the classroom. Each one of us take a turn. We'd probably get like an hour's worth of driving a day. There were six of us in the class. Something like that for six weeks. I think it was a week to go in the class whenever I took my driving test, passed it first time, and graduated. Graduated the class uh, second or third week of October, something like that, July to October, something like that. So, anyways, finished the class there, and they had recruiters come in. Once we got our thing, we had they had a recruiter from uh, Warner came in. A recruiter from McElroy Truck Lines came in, a recruiter from Dot Foods, uh, a recruiter from DM Bowman. Um, there was another one. There was a USA, a USA, so not US Express, but a local company called USA Cartage or something like that. So DM Bowman, USA Cartage, Dot Foods. Were all like local they were out of like Williamsport Maryland which is like a 20 minute drive for me they were all like not local they did over the road but they, the companies was right there like you'd be home every, not every day but you could like drive to work or whatever then like uh, Warner obviously Warner's out of Pennsylvania somewhere McElroy's out of Alabama I think Cuba Alabama, Cuba, Alabama. Uh, and that was that so I filled out a bunch of applications. I filled out an application for Warner, I filled out, out an application for McElroy, and I filled out an application for TMC. I didn't want to run vans. I wanted to run flatbeds. I don't know why I wanted to run flatbeds, but in the process of taking the school, in my mind before we graduated, I'm like, I want to run flatbeds, I don't want to run vans. It is what it is. So once I filled the applications out, I got a call from Warner, I got a call from McElroy, I got a call from TMC, all three of them called me, and I picked TMC. So it was the third or fourth week of October, I went to Columbia, South Carolina to do a two-week orientation with TMC. Went down there, you spend the week in the classroom. It was, it was October and it was still hot, but then you're in the South, so it would be. I spent a week in the classroom doing orientation i don't exactly remember what we was doing it for a week just bunch of bunch of watching a bunch of videos i think for the most part and then like logbook stuff didn't have electronic logs this is 2007 so we was using paper logs still so you know what you're doing for a week in orientation and then second week we spent on the yard um securing loads so they had a, a bunch of trailers on the yard um, with a bunch of different loads, coils, I don't know, they had four or five trailers and we spent a week securing, pulling uh, chains, binders, chaining down, chaining down coils, strapping, throwing straps, strapping stuff down, learning, you know, how many straps, how many chains, what the chains, you know, how much, how much weight a chain could hold, how many chains you need, you know, anything to do with securement. We spent a week of that finish that up on a Thursday and then headed back home because at that point we were getting put with trainers and we had to go six weeks with a trainer over the road and then once the six weeks is up 
Then we'd go back to, I think it's Iowa is where the home terminal is. Iowa, do a week or three days or something out there, get uh, your truck, your trailer, and then you're gonna be dispatched. And then at that point you were on your own as a driver.